Sunye La, good day. Welcome to HGSE 372, Language and Cultural Continuity, uh, offered through the Haida Gwaii Institute. This course takes place on Haida Gwaii, the ancestral territory of the Haida Nation. Jaskwan Hanu Di Kyang, Chitskitten Stu Di Iskogun, Haida Gwaii Stu Di Iskogun, Ayat Di Gurungi Logun. My name is Jess Kwan. I'm from the Chitskitne Eagle Clan. I'm from Haida Gwaii, and I'm happy to be here today to introduce the course Language and Cultural Continuity. Um, I helped develop this course for the Haida Gwaii Institute, and the subject matter is very close to my heart as it, um, it is the work that I do uh, in community for the past 18 years uh, in language revitalization. So the um, the topics and the subjects and the content of the course reflects a uh, community language revitalization work um, experience over the past uh, few decades, uh, specifically in Aotlake, uh, Old Masset, Haida Gwaii. This course explores language as a means of examining culture and cultural continuity using the Haida experience along with other Indigenous languages. We will explore methods of knowledge translation and transmission, and ways which cultural knowledge, values, and worldviews are embedded in language, specifically looking to the importance of sustaining Indigenous languages and worldviews against the onslaught of colonialism. We will use Hodkill, the Aotlage dialect of the Haida language, as a framing device to explore the integral connections between language, culture, history, land, and resilience. Specific topics we will examine include the importance of oral histories, Indigenous political, social, and economic systems, repatriation, and language as a tool for cultural resurgence. Ancestral knowledge contained within languages serve as a connective thread woven throughout history, delivering lessons about strength, resurgence, and resilience through stories, cultural teachings, and songs. Language and cultural continuity is for Indigenous and non-Indigenous students to better understand the importance of language and culture in one's own identity and understanding of community. So the learning outcomes for the course um, are to provide students with insight of the role of language in Indigenous communities historically and into the present, knowledge of the role of language in colonization and dispossession of power, and perception of community and cultural resilience and resurgence through language-led initiatives. Module one um, is language and worldview. We will um, look into naming, um, language in the land, oral languages, and language in education. Module two is language and resilience, where we will look at the heavy weight of colonialism, domains of survival, living languages, and language and well-being. Our third module will be language and resurgence, where we will look at community language revitalization, repatriation and cultural strengthening, the way forward in the wake of our ancestors, and the conclusion of the course is strength and knowledge. So the assignments for the course will include um, participation, so um, attending the, the 12 classes uh, over the six weeks. Um, uh, there will be online discussion forums. So there'll be four of those um, throughout the class. Uh, written reflections, um, that will be times three. And uh, the final project is a photo essay, which will address um, the major themes of the course. We will be reflecting on throughout the course, um, the following Haida protocols um, and laws 
which include Yakudang, respect, Ginwadlawan Gudas Kwagidang, everything is connected to everything else, Tlyahda, to make things right, and Askyanang Tlagang, to ask first.